First time I heard about the project was about maybe two and a half, three years ago, right before me and Ryan started shooting Fruitville Station. And he just kind of said it very casually, hey, like, Mike, you want to, you know, I'm thinking about doing this movie about Apollo Creed's son, you know, you, you want to you wanna play him? And I'm like, cool. And that was it. And, and literally, we, and then we went to, to work on Fruitville Station. And then once it started to become, you know, real, because, you know, the idea is just an idea, but we never thought it was going to come together so quickly, you know, especially with Sly getting on on, on board, you know, um, and, and it just MGM and you know, Warner Brothers, it just started to move very, very fast. And I was super excited. Um, I, no, no real pressure because after meeting Sly and him kind of taking that weight off my shoulder, the guy who created these characters, you know, I, Saying it's this is you. Don't don't worry about competing with Rocky. Don't worry about trying to be me. Be you, and 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 I'm here to support you. That's all I really needed to hear. And I got Ryan, Tessa, Felicia. I mean, I, it was the perfect situation for me just to go in and work. I mean, you just said it, man. He's a kid who's trying to figure it out, trying to get out his dad's shadow. You know, he's a, a guy that he never met is dictating his his life. He's not allowed to follow his dreams. Everybody kind of shut him out of the boxing world. He doesn't really know who he is on the inside. And he never really had a family. He never had that sense of family that, that he that he wanted so bad. And, you know, in trying to figure out who he is, he ultimately, you know, looks for the the person that knew his dad the best, and that was Rocky. You know, and then when he got there, he found a father figure that I didn't think he was, you know, expecting. And that relationship, that chemistry, just they just they just mesh so well together. Literally, going to say that. Like, literally, like, like, yeah, I think he does. I think, you know, Adonis definitely represents, you know, what Rocky, you know, was the same kind of stubbornness, the same persistent, the same, you know, I'm not gonna say belief in itself, because I think Adonis is slowly getting that confidence in himself throughout this film, you know, to the end where he where he finds that confidence. But in the beginning, I don't think he has that um, completely yet. But, you know, yeah, but I th to answer the question, frankly, yeah, I think I think I think Rocky does see himself in Adonis. You know, you're so used to seeing Sly Rocky uh, as a strong character. You know, you're seeing him as a, as a champion, as a fighter, being that guy. But when you see him start to deteriorate and lose that fight, I think that's really sad. You know, and I think Adonis is there to to remind him of that fight to give him that fight back. Like, look, man, what are you doing? No, yeah, family, who's gone? I'm still I'm still here, you know, I'm your family now. It's it's a, you know, just because you're, you're not related by blood doesn't mean that you're not family, you know? And I think that's a lesson that, you know, Rocky needed to learn from uh, Adonis, and Rocky definitely taught Adonis that you gotta forgive, your, you gotta forgive, you gotta let go. You have to get out of your own way. You have to, you know, um, um, you have to come to terms with what what is, and then you have to move forward, you know? And, and I'm gonna be here to support you, you know? We're gonna be here to support you with Bianca and whatnot. And, and it just, I don't know, all that together. It was, it was incredible, man. I mean, Sly is a very smart guy, you know, and very knowledgeable. I mean, he's been doing this for 40 years, and, you know, that much wisdom, you know, just to be around him for a little bit of time is like, you know, it's some of that, you know, those little jewels and gems are gonna, you know, are gonna rub off on you a little bit. And um, I'm telling you, man, he, 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 he has so many stories and he's always, you know, giving you advice on something. He, he's just an overall great guy. And to see him transform into Rocky is pretty incredible because, you know, it's just a, one of the complete, he's the complete opposite person of who Sly is. Um, still, you know, the humility and all that stuff still stays the same. But as far as the, you know, just, you know, older, very, you know, um, uh, uh, man of few words, you know what I'm saying? Very, 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 you know, hunched over. His accent is super slick and he's very humble. He's just, he got, he's got it. I think physically getting in shape was pretty tough. The diet, taking away, you know, all the good, the food that you love to eat, and uh, consistently working out, um, lifting weights, um, cardio, doing the road work, um, and, and boxing, you know, six days a week, sometimes two to three times a day. And um, it, it, was, it was pretty intense. It was pretty intense.
I think Bianca's character is crucial. It's not just a supporting role. She's just not the girlfriend. She's not she's not there just to, you know, look pretty or anything like that. You know, she's a, you know, uh, you know, three-dimensional character, you know, um very layered and she wants she has her own passion. She has her own career. She has her own drive. She doesn't need Adonis for anything. And and she's very similar in a way. You know, she's very stubborn and she's very driven. So, you know, when you have two people that are are you know dead set on their achieving their dreams but they're just they're the natural attraction there how do you what's the balance the give and take you know what's young love like in 2015 and i think tess is you know is an amazing actress you know she's so giving she's so honest and she's such a strong person i think it takes a you know that same strength to play a girl a girl from philly you know and i think it just it just works and yeah i love working with her chemistry is there it's awesome I mean, he's incredible, man. I mean, he's, you know, very, very smart guy. Knows a ton about, you know, film and cinema. And um, very family-oriented, humble, grounded, gracious. Doesn't like being complimented at all. That's why I'm going to give him all the compliments in the world. And uh, he's one of my best friends, man. I hope he continue to make movies, you know, as long as we're doing it. Yeah, I'm shadow boxing like every once in a while. Everywhere I'm standing still, you know, I don't have nothing to do with my hands. I'm just like throwing punches and stuff like that. And boxing is such a, you know, a disciplined sport. You know, it's a chess match, you know, between two people, you know, and, you know, it's two corners actually. And and the boxing scenes in this are, are incredible. Ryan wanted to shoot it differently than any other boxing film, especially, excuse me, in the, that Warner that we got. And it was very ambitious, and, and it took months of rehearsal and choreography to kind of get it together. But, you know, we, I think we pulled it off, so I'm super proud. And he, I know he's super proud, too.